So, when it is externally located that is this is out of this you can do two things you can apply the same formula here or what we can do we can assume that r it is p and r are the given points and q is dividing it internally in the ratio m minus n is to n do you understand that you can go both ways and both will yield you the same result now since i have already done this what i'll do i'll say that in this case in the external case externally so so what happens i can say point q divides divides p r internally in the ratio in the ratio ratio in the ratio m minus n is to n m minus n is to n and i can apply the same formula okay so and and what do we do and you understand why this is uh, m minus n because the the actual length of actual length of pr is what mk and the length of q qr is nk so what is the length of pq it is pr minus pr minus qr so mk minus nk now you take the ratio pq upon qr that will be m minus n k upon n k so that is why I have written m minus n is to n we get the point. So, so and, and what happens we had just said this multiplies with this. So, so we get x 2 the internal one will be m minus n into x <coughs> plus n into x 1 plus n into n into x 1 upon m minus n summation of that right summation of that m plus n m minus n plus n so that gives me m this m multiplies here and gives me m x 2 is equal to m minus n x plus n x 1 so it actually gives me m x 2 minus n x 1 upon is equal to m minus n x so x is equal to m x 2 minus n x 1 upon m minus n we get the point so it is as simple as that or you could also attempt the original way of making the triangle similar you will get the same result we can do that as well. And similarly, you will get y as I am not deriving it. You do the same thing with y, you will get y as m y 2 minus n y 1 upon m minus n, sorry, m minus n. So, so this, but this is as far as we are concerned with as far as we are concerned with the coordinate geometry we have still not come to the vectors so now we have to we have to take the same concept to the vectors okay you written it 